Well, hello there from Paris. So we said goodbye to our rental in England and our eight hour road trip to Paris has begun. Now here's the thing, England and France are separated by the English Channel. Water. The last time I checked, the van can't drive on water. So we had two options. The options were to hop on a ferry, a boat, or we take the Euro Tunnel. Now the ferry would take us slowly along the water surface over to France, into the port, no problem. Or we take the 31 mile long, 250 foot deep tunnel. Now the tunnel is much faster and quite frankly, much more exciting. Now, to those of you who have taken the tunnel before, I'm sure you're wondering why we're so excited or nervous or anxious. And to be honest, it's our first time and the concept of driving with all nine of your kids, your entire family in your van, in a train car, in a tunnel, 250 feet underneath the water for 31 miles, it's a bit of a wild concept. So yes, we're excited. Before we get started here with this video, I have to make a confession. Now imagine embarking on a bucket list adventure of a lifetime to one of the world's greatest structures in the Eiffel Tower. And you are ready. You are ready to document the entire thing, camera in hand, and ready to go. But somewhere along the way, your microphone stops working. And almost all of your footage from the Euro Tunnel, and sadly Paris, have no audio. No sound. You'd be upset. I'm upset. But I'm not going to let that stop me from documenting our journey. Enjoy the montage. Okay, so this is the exact reason why we took that seat out of the van so that we could fit all of our stuff and our quad stroller and double stroller in the back of the van. Now, nobody's sitting in that seat either. I could have probably taken that seat out as well but it has the car jack underneath. So I figured it would be okay to stay there. But this looks like a mess, but it's really organized chaos. You know, the trash bags are like boots, winter coats, stuff like that. Suitcases, obviously. So we do have two more suitcases that need to fit in the back here. And we are only taking one suitcase into our Airbnb in France because we're only there for like two full days, one full day and like two half days. We don't need to take everything inside. So we packed things that we need in one suitcase and we're taking one suitcase inside. Hopefully that works. Say goodbye, England. Bye, England. See you later, England, I guess. See you later, yeah, we'll be back <laughs> in June. We will be back in June. The van is going on the train and then the train is going in a tunnel that goes under the water. So we're gonna drive through a tunnel under the ocean. What do you think? Or through the ocean, I guess. Hey! That's a little scary, right? Yeah. True, because if the, wall, if the tunnel broke. Yeah. Well, let's not, you know, <laughs> put that energy out there. <laughs>
So I must admit the 35 minute journey through the tunnel is pretty uneventful. You don't feel much movement while you're moving and also there's lights in the train, so it's light in the train. So the only way to really know that you are moving is as you start moving, it's light and then it gets dark and then it gets light again. So we exit the train and we continue our journey through France to Paris. In France, the traffic drives exactly the same as America, same side of the vehicle, same side of the road, but still it was a bit of an adjustment for me because I just had spent two and a half weeks in England driving on the other side of the vehicle and the other side of the road and then we got our van and then there was the other side of the vehicle, you know what I mean. And also the language barrier didn't quite hit us until we turned the radio on and everything was in French, obviously. But anyway, we finally arrive at our Airbnb and we take a little tour. travel we finally got some much needed sleep so we could have as much energy as possible for the next day paris and the eiffel tower we started the day slow with playtime and breakfast and then headed straight to the train station to head to paris so we got off at the train station just before the eiffel tower so we could walk around the city a bit and i gotta admit the buildings have been unbelievably maintained it is beautiful the people are fashionable and friendly, and overall, it was just a wonderful experience. I had a moment when we first put our eyes on the Eiffel Tower. I'm about to have another moment. <clears throat> but honestly, it was a moment of gratitude because the opportunity that we have to be able to do this with our kids and create these memories and document these memories that we can have for an entire lifetime isn't normal. It's not a typical life and we are so thankful that we can do this. So 
we are heading to the train from our location here in France to get to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. And also, it's Maxine's birthday, right? Ooh, thank you. Thank you, boy. Get it in there. Shoot! Shoot! 
Yeah, nice. He's a natural. <laughs> Tiny baby river. Shoot. Shoot. Slam dunk.